pretend you're a surgeon for a moment, and pretend you have a colleague that is all the way across the country that you'd love to have their advice during a surgery, but they're across the country. So how are you supposed to do that? This technology is created to solve that problem. My name is Daniel Hawkins. I'm CEO and co-founder of Avail Med Systems. I've been in the medical device space 26 years now. Operating rooms used to be called theaters. There were seating around the top in a rim, and people would watch, and that's how education was delivered. Today, obviously, it's different from that perspective, but the fundamental problems are still there. What we've done with the Avail technology is giving you eyes and ears into the procedure. This is built for what we call procedural telemedicine. When the pandemic hit, the idea that remote is actually acceptable and enabling in healthcare became a catalyst for the use of these types of remote technologies. That remote expert is in fact pictured in the bottom corner here. She's able to determine the kind of view that she wants to see to be able to interact properly with the physician during the case. We allow somebody remotely to have a video whiteboard that they can draw on and communicate with a surgeon actually in ways that you cannot if you're physically in the operating room. What she's doing is drawing on a screen remotely, showing up locally in our procedure room. My name is Dr. Alexander Kuhn, and I'm a cerebrovascular and endovascular neurosurgeon. I specialize in treating problems of the arteries and veins of the head, neck, and spinal cord. But there's a lot of different ways in which this will change the way we train and practice. The views that are obtained with these camera systems, the feeds that are being brought off the hospital systems themselves, allow physicians or surgeons which are watching and guiding the operator to have better views than if they were standing in the room themselves. This could become a very powerful, powerful thing for medicine. So the system is designed for really any type of procedure, from an ambulatory surgery center, to a teaching hospital, to the hospital down the street. The direct usability of the technology is designed to be incredibly intuitive. In fact, I could show really anybody how to manage a remote procedure from the standpoint of moving the cameras and drawing on the screen and switching images and whatnot in a matter of about five minutes. What's actually more the learning curve is the notion that now you're remote. So when you're providing remote expertise, you have to actually think about things slightly differently, much like a Zoom call. What the pandemic did is put a spotlight on the problem we are solving right now. This will still happen where there'll be people physically in a room. But at the moment, there's a, an acceptance of, if not an embracement of, a technology that enables that to happen remotely and provide an option for a broader range of expertise to be brought into an operating room. If you're sitting in a rural part of America, a place where healthcare is not as sophisticated as, and, as, as broad, getting experts in the field to watch and assist your surgeons is a very powerful thing. And it's something we all feel very passionate about. This is gonna be a tool that allows us to transform. And, it, and it's not a function of if it's gonna happen, it's happening. Wouldn't it be fantastic if an expert from one country can help another surgeon in another country to be able to optimize a procedure, which means we broaden the access to expertise with a goal ultimately of enabling better healthcare. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.